Hi there, welcome back to Bot Sailor. Today I'm going to show you about Bot Sailor's live chat feature. Bot Sailor's live chat feature is a real time communication tool that allows you to directly interact with your WhatsApp bot subscribers. This feature enables you to monitor conversations, get involved when necessary, and also manage your subscribers list all within a single interface by providing a direct line of communication with your customers. Bot Cellular Live Chat helps you deliver exceptional customer support, gather valuable insights, and foster stronger relationship with your customers. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use all the functions of Bot Cellular Live Chat and give you practical examples. So let's dive in. Click on the dashboard to enter Bot Cellular's dashboard. On the left side of dashboard under the WhatsApp section, you can see the live chat option. You can use this live chat option to handle all the WhatsApp subscribers. So click on it. As you can see, the live chat page is divided into three sections. First one is subscribers list section. Second one is the chat window section. And finally, this one is the chat action section. So in the subscriber list section, on the top, you can see a search bar along with four different buttons. You can search for any specific subscribers here by typing in their name. So I'm gonna type Kash. As you can see, this is his ID. This button is for going back to the dashboard. So I'm gonna click on it. And as you can see, I'm on the dashboard. And now I'm going to click back to live chat. And this one is for adding new subscribers. So if you click on it, it will open a new window here you can type subscriber's name and his phone number and save it. Then a new subscriber will be added to your WhatsApp subscribers list. In this way, you can add multiple subscribers manually. And this button is for notification. You can turn on notification button if you want to get notified by a bell sound when you are working on something else. Up next, this is the refresh button. If you click on it, the whole page will refresh itself. So afterwards, as you can see, there's a few more buttons, each with their unique functionality. This first one is for private chats between agents and customers. It is called mine. You can pick a specific agent for each customers and only that agent can see their messages. Once you choose an agent, they can find the chat in their mine option. Next, the all option shows you a list of all customers conversation. Here, you as an admin can see all the subscribers list. Then there's an unread option. Here you can see all the messages that are unread. So with the help of this button, you don't have to find which messages are read or unread. So you can just click on this button and you can find all the messages that are unread. So you can reply them one by one when you are free. This option is for archive conversations and this one is for blocked customers list. If you find some customers are spreading rumors or spamming, then you can just block them and you can find all of their list in this option and this one is for resolve customers list when you are solving some customers problem or query and when you solved it you can just resolve his conversation and you can find it later over in this option how to resolve a customers list uh, you can just uh, we will talk about this later in this video you can set all these actions from chat window section which we will go in a moment so this way. After that, there's this WhatsApp account selection option. If you click on it, a drop down menu will appear containing all the WhatsApp accounts that you connected with Bot Sailor. In my case, I have only one account connected, so you can see just one. But if you have multiple accounts connected to Bot Sailor, you will see all of them over here. And you can choose that account for which account you want to provide live chat support. So that's all about it for subscriber list section. Now let's move on to the chat window section. Here in the chat window, you can also see a search bar on the top, but this search bar is for something, searching something in conversation with that specific customer. So if I uh, search men in this search bar and you can see all the messages that contain men word are here, are showing up. So it's just basically a search in the conversation. Beside the search bar, you can see two other options. This one is called resolve conversation. Remember we already talked about resolve button in subscriber list section. 
Yes, you can make any conversation with any customers resolved by clicking on this option. So this option is useful when you provide all um, live chat support and you resolve customer's query. You can, your agents can use this option to resolve conversations. Later, you can check them out from subscribers list section using that button. Beside the resolve option, there's also a block users option. If you find any subscribers doing spam, you can block him using this option. So if you block him, clicking on this icon and this customer will be blocked and you can find this ID later on subscribers list section in the blocking option. This option is called follow up reminder. It is basically a reminder feature, but it is very useful for customer support agents. Your customer support agents can use this feature to remind them of any important actions, questions, appointments, offers, or any other stuff. So click on this option. As you can see, there's already some default options ready over here like one hour later six hours later 12 hours later etc etc outside this 12 hour or 24 hours later options you can also select any date or time using this pick a date and time option now i'm gonna choose one hour later option as you can see my reminder has been set successfully after that you can also edit the time and date by clicking on this edit option you can choose any date or time from this option like I'm gonna choose this for September and time will be 12 and you can also set AM or PM and hit the apply button and your new reminder will be set or you can also delete this reminder by simply clicking on this delete option now Botsello also lets you translate any foreign customers text by simply tapping on this tiny translate button here if you click on it you can see which language it is and you can answer your customers accordingly you can also reply to any important text by this reply icon. You can just click on it and you can it will be mentioned and you can type the message that you want to send. So I'm going to write what do you mean by that and send and you can see which agent sent this message. This will not be uh, visible to your customer but you can see in the live chat which agent send this message so if anyone make any mistake you can find out later and you can take care of it up next here's another awesome feature whenever you receive an audio from a customer you can transit that audio into a text by simply clicking on this option this convert to text option we call this audio transition this is very useful feature for live chat agents because whenever we're in rush we don't have much time for listening to the audio. It will be very beneficial for us if it's just text. So now with the help of Botsella live chat, we can use this convert to text button to convert any audio into a text file. Up next, there's the rewrite with AI button. All you have to do is just write a message and click on this button and it will rewrite the same message appropriately fixing any grammatical or misspelling issue so that um, your customers don't have the wrong idea of you. So I'm gonna write something in this input box. So I'm gonna write, can you please explain? Okay, and hit the button. And as you can see, it's fixed. So let's send it now. Next to that is send flow or message template button. You can send bot flows, message templates, and even WhatsApp flows by clicking on this button. So if you click on it, there's a lot of pre-made bot flows over here in the bot flow section. There's also mm, message template and also WhatsApp flows. Notice that there's a search bar that you can use to find any bot flows to send it. You can send these bot flows anytime in the conversation with the, your customers. Whenever it's necessary, you can just tap on it, tap on the send flow button and send your necessary bot flows or message template. I'll show you. So I'm just gonna write insurance, okay? And I'm gonna choose this one and send it. And as you can see, this bot flow has been sent. Um, so just like this, you can send all the necessary bot flows or message templates whenever you want. You can just send it in this chat window to the customer. Now this button is for canned responses. Canned responses are basically some basic message that you can create earlier so that you can send it anytime to your customers. Like if some customers ask you uh, what's your address, so you don't have to type it every time whenever a customer asks you. You can just um, write down your address in a cat can response setting and you can send it whenever someone asks you that. So it can save you a lot of time because you don't have to retype those repeated messages 
over and over again. So that's how canned response works. So if you click on it, you can see all the canned responses that you have already created. In my case, I haven't created any canned response yet. So I'm going to click on the add new button and create a new canned response. So in the name section, I'm going to write my canned response name so that I can identify it later. So I'm going to write agent assign message. Okay. And the message will be hello. And I'm going to give his name and our agent will contact you soon. Okay. And add it. Okay. It's successfully added. And okay. And as you can see, this is the canned response message. So I can use it by clicking on this use button and send it by send it like this will be sent and that's how can response work you can just click on it and you can also edit this button and also delete it by clicking on the delete button you can also search can responses when you have a lot of can response messages then you can just um, write down the first thing you remember and the, your desired can response will be over here and this one is for sending some attachment like um, some photos or videos or any file that you want to send it to your customers so you can use this button to send all of those and up next this one is for sending voice messages you can also send your customers some voice message or anything if you want so let's move on to the chat action section so in the chat action section the first thing you will see is this tiny button called Actions. If you click on it, a drop down menu will appear where you can get the options to unsubscribe this customer or you can pause the bot reply of this customer. While you are talking to your customer and you can pause the bot reply so that any other bot doesn't get triggered by your conversation. So you can be careful by using this pause button reply. After that, you can also reset user input value from this button. After that, you can also assign any agent from this assign agent list. So if you click on it, you can see a lot of agents list over here. So you can choose anyone from here. I'm gonna choose this, this one and hit the save changes button. Now I'm gonna go back to the dashboard and I'm gonna log out from this admin account then i'm going to log into my agent account that i just assigned so i'm going to choose my agent account okay this one okay login now go to the live chat and as you can see this agent will only see the conversation that was assigned to him and he cannot see any other conversation so this will increase your privacy with your customers and you will have the full control of your agents and conversations with your customers and you can monitor everything this way um, now let's log out from this agent account and go back to our admin account again so i'm gonna choose my admin account and log in then you can add a label for this subscriber you can just click on it and you will see a lot of labels list. You can choose any from here. Uh, you cannot add any label from from over here, but you can add a label and create a new label from subscribers manager. So you can go there and make a label. Then you can select this from here. So that's about label. You can also set a message sequence from here for this customer. Uh, if you click on it, you can see that there's a bunch of sequence already over here. If you need a new one, then you can make sequence from bot reply section from here. And then, as then select the message sequence that you want to use from here. After that, this one is for assigning a custom field. Click on it and choose the custom field you want to add. So that's for custom field. And you can also add a note about this conversation with this customer so that other agents can easily understand what's going on here and they can easily take over. So then comes this save button. This save button will save all the changes that you made. This countdown clock is called inside 24 hours window. According to WhatsApp law, when a customer messages you, you have only 24 hours to reply back to him. And this clock is here to show you how much time you have left before you, you cannot reply him again. So this is just for a reminder for your customer agents. Then this option shows that if this customer is subscribed or not unsubscribed, you can see that from here. And you can also check uh, if the bot reply is on or not from here. So that's about it for Bot Seller's live chat. If you want to learn more about team collaboration in Bot Seller, check out this other video we have made and link will be in the description also. So until next time, see you.